This is red sail lettuce. It's black seeded Simpson lettuce. And this is a cross between the two. I think I might name it Sunny Simpson. And once a week, I fertilize this fish fertilizer 511. I find this is the most important fertilizer. I'll add a little bit of this starting June 1st, 01010, more bloom, just for the tomatoes and peppers. But right now, I don't use this. This scoop is five tablespoons. This bucket is 15 gallons. So I'll do three scoops, which is 15 tablespoons, one tablespoon per gallon. Take the blade of the scissors, clean up the top. This is my simple kale soup. Big handful of chopped kale. I add one serrano hot pepper. These are from last year. I add half a mug of water. Got 50 grams of cooked ground turkey. Add some seasoning salt, half a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and I gently heat it up. It's a nutritious, simple soup. Something kind of interesting is the catnip plant that I planted last year survived over the winter and it's still growing this year. On the kale and collards, 
starting to get the little cabbage worms. You can tell you got the worms because the leaves will be all chewed up. There'll be holes in the leaves. Here's another one right here. So I use this stuff called BT Worm and Caterpillar Killer. It's organic safe, get it from Home Depot. I'll use one teaspoon in this 32 ounce spray bottle. And I spray roughly every two weeks or so whenever I notice the worms. You'll see white butterflies or moths flying over the garden and that's where the worms come from. They lay their eggs. Hello everybody. It's May 23rd. Do a quick garden update. Been harvesting lots of lettuce and beets. Here are the super sugar snap peas. Got peas all over them. I'm gonna start harvesting these soon. The kale and collards. Rattlesnake pole beans are starting to grow up the trellis. Corn plants, cucumbers in the back there. More kale and collards and pole beans. And the tomato plants, these are large red cherry. I've only been watering these twice a week, less than usual. And so far they've been pretty healthy. No sign of blight on these yet. Here's sun sugar. Leaves are green all the way down to the bottom, which is unusual for me. Past couple years I've had bad case of blight. These are Cupid grape tomatoes. And then the pepper plants. Got a few little peppers growing. These are the sweet banana peppers. Here's the front hex bed. Serrano pepper, cayenne pepper, and some little tiny peppers starting. And the sun sugar, green all the way down to the bottom. Fingers crossed. Hopefully that'll last nice and healthy. Here are the plants in front of the garage. Roma tomatoes. Got a bunch of little baby Roma tomatoes starting. I do have some blight on these. You can see the little spots and the yellowing leaves. Some more Roma tomatoes. You can see here's some more blight, a little bit. This is Serrano pepper, Roma, it's cayenne pepper. Here's the extra bed back here in the backyard. So far the animals haven't really eaten anything. Corn, tomato plants have a bunch of flowers all over them, little baby tomatoes, pepper plants. It's got some little, to little peppers, basil. The pear tree. It's a bunch of little pears. 